Hello YouTube and welcome back. Oh yeah, I've been patiently waiting for today's video and I'm sorry it's taken too long. I finally stuck a GoPro on this helmet. Well, on a day like today, it is absolutely wet. Look at the state of me. Look at the state of the e-bike on the first mission out. It is absolutely rotten already. The first climb up Land Degler, we all know it. We all hate it. I've just done it so easily. It was ridiculously easy. Now, there was definitely some cool comments in yesterday's video about remapping the bike, which sounds just mind-blowingly insane. Before we go any further in today's video, I wanted you to enjoy the actual climb at Landegla. It is a brutal, brutal climb. If you've been before, you will know it. Drop me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the first climb. If you've got an e-bike or you've tried it on an e-bike, you'll know how crazy this gets. This is probably the most ridiculous thing I have ever ridden. All right, boss. Cheers, man. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Lamb Degler has never, ever been this easy. This is ridiculous. I can constantly feel like the 15 mile an hour limiter is kicking right in. I am actually still using a bit of energy, which is interesting. But my God, this is quick. I will be so surprised to see whereabouts we are time-wise when we get to the top of the hill. Okay, e-bike. How does she ride? Oh my god, feels naughty. Drop a post down, drop a back up. This is ridiculous. Nothing should feel this good. Nothing should be this easy. Oh my god, one handed, just going uphill so easily. It is ridiculous. Oh. My God, feels totally different than a normal bike. Okay, it has seriously, seriously been about five minutes and I am looking at like I am about to be near the top of the initial climb at Landegla. I would say I've used about 4% of my energy, not even 5%. And we are sort of steering towards the top of the climb right now. This is actually genuinely absolutely ridiculous how easy this actually is. I hope you enjoyed the climb up the top of um, Land Degla Forest. That was genuinely ridiculous. So that brings us to the top here. Now I've just turbo moded it the whole way to the top. I got up in about I want to say somewhere around eight to ten minutes or something. It was very 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 quick. I actually will say this though. It did still feel like I was using my legs. Like, it wasn't like sitting on the couch or playing chess. Let me tell you that right now. It was actually still like I was going quite hard. It just delivered me a lot of extra. That was what it kind of felt like. Um, I've used around... It wasn't 100% charged before I left the house, but I've used one, two bars of battery out of my... I think I've used kind of one or one and a half bars of battery out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten out of ten so i've used like one and a half out of ten um that is about two mile i'm 90 percent sure the bike feels incredible i kind of felt it backing off a lot so like every time i went to crank it was backing off slowing down that's due to the restrictor of 15 mile an hour we are going to be working on taking that off asap um that is genuinely ridiculous that was incredible i can't i genuinely can't contain myself on just how insane that would be and i also am a manual mountain bike user i have a nomad cc if you've never watched the channel before and i would like to be one of them people that say oh you don't want to use an e-bike you want to use a normal bike but there's just so much fun to be had on an e-bike that was ridiculous that was actually ridiculous it still feels like i'm out riding i got to the top fast that was genuinely probably one of the best things i've ever ridden okay we have the black section here so dropper is dropped 
We are going to ride the block. How does she ride if, if we check the GoPro? Oh, jumps quite far. What I don't like is, is a lever on the left doing something. Oh, the weight behind it when jumping is ridiculous. I've got to be honest, I'm not 100% confident on jumping and stuff yet on it. And I've, I've actually firmed the forks up as well. Oh, this is insane. I've firmed the forks up, which should give us a little bit better jumping ability. But wooden walkway, as you'd know, I'm pretty scarred from the slammer hamsterly. So I'm not a hundred on the walkways. We are gonna gap off the end. Hit. Woo! Yes! Land Degler on the e-machine. We need a new name for the e-bike as well. The tyres on the e-bike feel somewhat, maybe a tiny bit too hard, okay? We had a little bit of a rocky climb going on here. That was ridiculous how easy the bike just dealt with that. Oh, just got a bit of slip on the back wheel, which felt quite nice on the e-bike. What I will say is quite weird on the e-bike. I feel like if you pedal a bit too hard up like the lip of a jump, you actually get booked over the bars a bit. Oh, the berms. How will the berm rider perform? We need a sick name for the e-bike. Could it be called the Cobra? We had the snake. Then we had the V180 snake. Then we had the snake lift. What is the name for the e-machine? Ow! Oh. Getting sideways. Sideways there. If you've been to Degler, you know where we are right now. We are about to hit the black trail. Let's go. I am a little bit nervous. I don't really know what to expect. I haven't been here in about two years or something like that. The e-bike, the weight, it deals with it well. Oh, little blips there, that's what we call them. Whoa, they washed out then. I've been told these tires are a bit slick to upgrade the tires before anything else. Oh, ha, ha. I cannot believe how sick the e-bike is. <laughs> Ow! The e-bike is ridiculous. It just powers on. That is so ridiculous. That is so, 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 so ridiculous how good that actually rides. Oh my God, Specialized, if you guys are watching this video right now, seriously, well done. 180 travel, front and rear. It is plush, soft, dialed, sharp, short, responsive, grippy. Weight feels nice as well. I feel like I'm getting addicted to the weight in the bike as well. This is a little black section. I've actually ridden this before. So we are, how are we doing on battery? I'm a little bit nervous about it, but the battery is the same. We are, we are gonna take the little machine through the black section. How will the e-machine ride? Okay, through the rocky section, easy. Through the rocky section, easy. Wow! Visibility is quite low. One thing I'm gonna work on in the next couple of days, getting a dialed set of clear lenses for these goggles. Whoop! Over that, little blip there. No problem for the e-bike. The e-bike slivers that bad boy. Little berms, I love Degler. It's been an absolute minute since I've rode it. Okay, we're going for the high line on the e-bike. It was effortless to get up there. That was ridiculous. Blip. Hit. Oh, the black at Degler on the e-machine. If you are an e-biker, show me some e-bike support. Oh, the e-bike! Oh, it carries crazy weight. I think it would make me faster, actually, on the downhill bits. Because that felt quick. Whoa! The e-bike! <laughs> I'm genuinely, genuinely gobsmacked how well this rides. Oh, little bear here. 
on the e-machine. Oh. Tires feel super hard for today. I really do need to work on the tires. I know a lot about tires now and suspension and stuff, but in reality, not with the weight of the e-bike involved. So that is a whole nother learning game for me, which is what I'm currently striving for in life. Different challenges. Whoa! The e-bike! Not phased. Oh my God, look at this little section. Head. Oh, oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, through the loamy goodness. Oh, survival was there. Oh, it's slippy. Oh my days. The e-machine is dealing with the terrain. No problem. Oh my God. That's ridiculous. This is a big old bam. How will the e-machine? How? Oh. Okay, this little section here. Now it's just gonna be effortless to hit. Oh, I don't know about how deep it is. Oh, that literally pedaled up from stop still. I just wanna demonstrate that right now whilst we are here. Basically, you can get right to about here and you can pedal up that. That is ridiculous, effortless as well. I've decided I'm gonna take another run down the full black route. So we are going up this way for a full black run again on the jumps and what that dab tracks that we went. I'm gonna go for a, a double loop around. Okay, so we are just getting back up to the top of the black, which I think is over here in the corner. The weather is getting worse by the second. So I'm hoping we don't have too much water disturbances. But my God, it is ridiculous. Like genuinely, I can't explain how ridiculous it is that I got back here this easy. Honestly, it's just completely blown my mind. Okay, this time round, instead of going that way, we are gonna ride the dirt jumps. Seat is down, I'm not gonna go crazy. Obviously, oh, sick little drop off there. See how she feels. One thing I've learned already about the e-bike is you do not want to get greedy on pedaling up stuff because I kind of feel like it turns around and bites your ass. The dirt jumps, I haven't ridden this in a long time. There used to be trees here. Oh my God. Oh, she tables just about. That is genuinely, genuinely ridiculous. I am about two years late to the party on the e-bike scene. But oh my God, why would you ride a normal mountain bike in a place like this? I understand when you want to have a legit session on some proper downhill stuff. No, I shouldn't say that actually, because that's what a lot of people are probably going to get like. There's no need to have the whole competition between e-bikes and enduro bikes. I think both serve a great purpose. I will not be selling the Nomad because the Nomad does stuff that this doesn't do. But this definitely does stuff that the Nomad will never dream of doing. Or that I will never dream of doing. That is ridiculous. I'm talking 10 plus, 10 star, 10 out of 10. Mind boggling futuristic Kinevo specialized expert money well spent that is what I'm saying because that feels ridiculous holy hell I'm gonna switch you back over we've got a black section coming up all right so we are going in for a little black blip here oh it's rocky this is probably the most tech stuff I've ever ridden oh big puddle there no chance I'm chancing going through the middle of that. Could be the most insane hole in the middle of it. I don't know Degler either. If it was at Gisborne after the last few rides, I'd probably feel quite confident here, but it just feels a bit gnarly because I don't know it. Oh, remember this boardwalk on the e-bike. 
Oh, little Mary flip there. I know, Phil, after it. I haven't actually really used the gears, which is heavy. Because I think if I used the gears a little bit more, I'd probably get a better performance out of the bike. It's so ridiculous. I'm just, at the beginning, I was quite puffed out and I found my legs did quite a lot of the work. But I actually think the dropper is too high for me. Okay, we have another little black section here. Give you a little lens wipe there. And let's get straight into it. It's so fast. Nice though, nice flowy bit of weight behind the bike. I've got to be honest, it is an addictive feeling, this turbo. Whoa! I don't know how confident I would be on riding like the likes of revs on it and stuff. I think you get caught out quite a lot until you get used to the additional weight. And I feel as if it will make the Nomad feel more playful than it actually is if you get used to the weight. Woo! All right. Tell you what. It is good fun. Okay, we're going to go straight over this. Oh! <laughs> the e-bike is ridiculous. It is so insane. I cannot put it into words how insane it is. You could only have a go yourself to appreciate how much I'm talking about this e-bike right now. Honestly, I had no idea it would feel like this. What almost makes them cool? It's one of them things if you know, you know. If you've been over to the dark side, you would know how awesome they feel. And if you haven't, you're seriously just missing out on life right now. I feel already like I'm getting to grips with the weight of it and stuff. It does feel like Okay, and climb. That was insane. As an asthmatic, this is fantastic to be this healthy. About three quarters round Landegla, high up in the peak. This is ridiculous. I'm so sorry for being so annoying today. I cannot explain. You expect it to just get harder but it just doesn't. The tyres actually got a bit of a mixed reaction in yesterday's video. People were saying they're quite slippy. People were saying they were quite um, weak, like you get pinch flats and stuff like that. But in reality, I found I would recommend the tyres until something goes wrong with them. I found them to be quite grippy. I've slipped about twice today. An awesome, awesome bit of kit. I cannot tell you how hyped I am on the bike. Pedals are a little bit sketchy. I'm not that 100% into the pedals. The dropper seat, I want my wireless dropper in this. And if that one doesn't fit, I'm going to get a wireless dropper that eliminates all of this stuff. So it'll basically be the rail, the dropper and slam it with 150 mil raise instead of 100 this time. Totally, totally blown away with the bike. I absolutely love it. Can't tell you. I feel like it could be single speed and it would still be good enough. Like the shifting and stuff, maybe I'll get better at it. But my God, I'm hitting some locations on this thing this week. I'm really hyped at the moment on the direction of the brand. Ownerofficial.com link is in the description. These are the downhill jerseys. They're called national jerseys and we are making MTN jerseys, which are a little bit of a different design. Um, we're going to have a new hoodie going online in the next couple of days and shout out everybody that has been ordering and helping shape the brand in the direction that it's going in. You are huge contributors and I'm super psyched on everything at the moment. I'm having a good time. Been slamming the Nutri Bullet as well, the smoothies every morning, out and about on the bikes daily. Life is great. Okay, this is gonna be pretty awesome. Pretty hyped for this, feeling pretty energized at the top of the trail, which is ridiculous. One more time. Okay, so what have we got here? I think this has changed. Trail Pixies were here 
Work has recently been undertaken on this trail. Please be aware, some features may have changed. Jumps one and two combined. Is this trail for you? Severe black. All right, let's try it. Okay. Oh my days. That is awesome. Manny, wow, they come off the back of the e-bike then. Not 100% sure how I feel about the way that just jumped. Oh, it is steezy to be fair. Nice bit of weight behind it. Kind of feels like you can just do a little bit of a blip on it. And it kind of reacts nice. A little bit of a hip step up there. Step down. A bit of a manny through that. It is awesome, this thing. It's just ridiculous. And I'm guessing that is the climb right there. It. It. This is where all the trees have gone. I used to remember the trees being here. Woo! That is so, so ridiculous. How is it possible that a bike can do this? That was awesome. Just incredible. Just incredible. Back up, a little bit of an uplift. I mean, you could hit that about 10 times, so we are probably gonna do that. Okay, so, drop a post down. Blip number two on the jumps. It says that this jump has been combined. I don't feel comfortable hitting something this big. Oh, it's actually quite good. The e-bike, it just flows. I'm gonna take this line that time, just to mix it up. A little bit of a, I'm gonna go for a little bit of a tabes now on this. Oh, the beast, the e-machine is tasty. Oh, little blip there. Tell you what, flows nice, this thing. The e-machine. I can't believe it. I can't believe this is actually a thing. All right, so North Shore dirt jumps. What is it gonna be? Dropper is down. Last time I come out, I had a bit of an off on some wood, so it feels nice to ride some with some fishing wire on. That makes me pretty happy. How will the wood look after me today? Whoa! I haven't rode this in about two years. Really awesome to be back. The e-bike, moving with some pace. Oh, I think it's changed there. It's not quite got the Nomad option to air. I will say that. I'm about three feet lower on everything. Whoa, that was rad. Little step up there. Little gap hip. Something is rattling like crazy on the back of the bike. We'll just wait, see if she dies, and then deal with it. Oh, these are awesome, North Shore. Wouldn't mind taking another little loop on them. Oh my days, this boardwalk is quite steep, probably doesn't look it. But, is quite steep. It's easy though on the e-bike. Ridiculous. It is Amazing! Awesome, awesome bit of kit this e-bike. Okay, now we are doing a bit of a U-turn and this right here is a bit of a climb. It's a bit of a nightmare, but I don't think it's gonna be much of a challenge for the e-machine, which it was not. That was pretty ridiculously easy. Keeping it moving. And that right there was ridiculous. Looks like we are about to enter a pretty awesome flowy looking section of the day, which I'm always keen for. 
single track. This is all downhill, so there's no motor involved right now. Just testing it as a normal bike. How does it perform? Oh, I'm getting, definitely getting a bit more used to it. This is flowy. Definitely more flowy on the downhill stuff. Just takes nothing to get up to speed. And then you get to here and you just crawl. Just works. Unbelievable. That is going to bring us to the end of today's video. That was actually an incredible session. I, uh, I'm blown away. I can't speak highly enough of an e-bike. I can only recommend that you get one or at least try one yourself. Mine is parked up in the van right now. I'm going to take it home. I'm going to give it a good clean. No jet wash, only the hose pipe. And yeah, just an incredible session on one. Um, I've got a few mod ideas that I really think I need to do to the bike to make it my own. Today was just about taking the bike out as a standard ride and trying it out. That was genuinely ridiculous. If you are a fellow e-bike rider, smash the thumbs up button in support. Drop me a comment. Let's chat e-bikes. Shout out to everybody who watches the videos. Smashes the thumbs up button and comments on every video. Thanks for watching today. I'll be back tomorrow with another upload. If you want to buy my merchandise slash cloven slash brand, whatever you guys want to call it, um, basically it's ownerofficial.com and the link is in the description. Thanks for watching. Peace out. See you tomorrow.